The next leadership lesson that we will see in Paul's life is step in to, step in to defend. Step in to defend. There were Judaizers that were teaching false doctrine in Antioch Church in Acts chapter 15. Now, our church is pretty familiar with false teachers. We spent four weeks uh, in uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, I believe, and uh, we got a full review or a full, uh, I would say, overview of false teachers. Acts 15, 1 says these words, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. See, these Judaizers were adding to the gospel of Jesus Christ. They were falsely teaching salvation is faith in Jesus Christ and circumcision. And, and listen, uh, listen into the response that, that Paul and Barnabas have. In verse 2, it says, When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them. This is an attack on the gospel. And we see the leadership of Paul and Barnabas to step in and correct the doctrinal error. They stepped in because they weren't going to let it by, let it sit without them stepping in. As ministers of the gospel, we must step in to defend. As ministers, there will be many times where you will have to step in and defend the truth of God's word, amen? You have to step in. You have to defend. In the existence of our young church, there have been quite a few situations where I have had to correct unbiblical teaching. Some that had to be addressed in the pulpit and others on one-on-one -on -one meetings. And uh, Eric and John, uh, you can also give me illustrations as well that you've been a part of conversations where you've had to correct people of wrong teaching. But a good spiritual leader is always looking ahead as he leads his people. You must be sensitive and be on the watch for incorrect teaching that is being spread and be ahead of it. We got to be ahead of it. Part of being ahead of incorrect teaching, you must be willingly to diligently study. In order to dismantle the opposing arguments, we see in 1 Peter 3.15, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You see, as ministers, you must be equipped to defend. You can't defend uh, a, a false doctrine if you don't know how to. You don't know how the scripture is laid out, that it's, we have to properly defend the scriptures by dividing the word of God rightly. As ministers, we must be equipped to defend. You cannot be ready to defend if you have not taken time to equip yourself. This is something that I believe many of the uh, people of the congregation don't see uh, the study that goes behind every minister. The study that goes behind, especially uh, a, a person who preaches and teaches regularly, to, to be ahead of those things that are coming into the church that may harm the flock, that, to, to understand and to study, to be diligent in Scripture, to be knowledgeable of theology, so that we can be like Paul and Barnabas and step in to defend. Paul and Barnabas were not okay with the perversion of the gospel. We see today in our society, there's more than one perversion of the gospel. Acts 15.2 says, had no small dissension and disputation with them. This wasn't just a soft, vague answer back. This is, you know, Paul and Barnabas were, weren't very polite about this. One commentator said, Paul and Barnabas rallied to the defense of their flock and had great dissension and debate with the legalists. They fought furiously for the truth and against the wedge being driven between Jew and Gentile in the church. You see, this was a full-fledged debate. This was a serious matter. And these Judaizers were attempting to completely discredit Paul and Barnabas' ministry. You see, they didn't take it lightly that someone was trying to undermine them. They didn't take it lightly that someone was trying to smear their testimony. They didn't take it lightly that someone was trying to discredit the ministry and steer their congregation into error. This was a debate. This was a fight. And at times, we will be placed to step in and defend. That is the role of a minister. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness of fear. And that verse isn't geared towards ministers. It's geared to all believers. 
Christian, are you prepared to defend the very simple doctrines of the truth of God's word? Are you prepared to, to defend the truth of the gospel? If somebody is adding to, to the gospel, will you, able to be, will, you, will you be able to spot it and to defend it, to be able to cast arguments against it using the scripture? Do you have that capability of defending the scripture?